If two drunk people meet and have drunk sex, how do you know who took advantage of who if neither one could offer responsible consent? It's not consenting on either, on either, yeah. At, at either, neither party was able to uh, sober, soberly consent, so therefore, what happens, happens. You know, whatever happens, happens, and that's... Unfortunately, unfortunately, aren't, uh, unfortunately aren't most sexual encounters happening under drunken mm -hmm. conditions? Yeah. yeah which is so so that's kind of a problem, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if yeah. you put yourself in a situation where you choose to drink, where you get so drunk, where you hook up with someone and you don't remember anything and then try to accuse it as being raped, that is not right. That's why you should always have friends around you. Exactly. You should never trust it. around you. Okay. And always have a DD. Always. And I, and I agree with that. Some people, you know, accept that responsibility and some people call that victim blaming. So it just depends on, you know. Yeah, I don't I, I don't agree with that. Okay. Victim blaming is definitely. Yeah. You, you can't really point fingers in that situation. Yeah. OK, but who's typically blamed in that situation? The man. The man. Yeah. OK, is that fair? No, not really. No. OK, so why aren't false accusations taken more seriously when there's plenty of scenarios where it's not necessarily just the man's fault. I think because society sees men as very masculine or masculine yeah. over women, so they see always them as taking advantage, but I think that's just another stereotype, another trend that's always seen as like the man being the stronger or dominant. Team, it's complicated channel. I mean, I can probably mimic his channel based on just his content. He has excellent content. Go check him out, guys. I'll link him here in the title. But his, his questions are so on point that a lot of these women, they realize how the double standard works in their favor. And they don't want, they, you see how, you know, they're tiptoeing around the answers of these questions. But what I'll tell you, fellas, is if you get a woman intoxicated, you're going to get in trouble. If you do anything with that woman, you, you are putting yourself in a position to be held liable for anything that occurs because you know even if you are intoxicated and you're both intoxicated you, you know she can't responsibly give consent and you are going to get in trouble you are going to be the one to get in trouble so you run the risk of someone developing some buyer's remorse buyer's remorse is when you buy something you get home and you're like didn't really want to do that and then next thing you know consent is removed you know and are there animals in this world yes there are bad people in this world that do horrible things you know I can I don't condone anything I don't condone anybody's bad behavior but don't put yourself in a situation where it's a lose-lose for you as a man it's a lose-lose to be partying, getting intoxicated, and trying to make a move on a woman. I, I hate to say it, you can, you can, you know, you can, you, you can do it at your own risk. But can't say I never gave you anything. Here's a, here's a tip: <laughs> don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You know, if this girl really wants you, you, you have to, you have to be able to, to think in 2022, like, you know you're gonna get in trouble. And unfortunately, that's, you know, that's something that we have to think about as men and we gotta protect each other, man. Here's a situation where these women are answering a question and they're admitting that neither party can give consent if both people are, are under the influence. But they say one thing, but in the execution and the practice of it, it's gonna be a totally different situation. Trust me, trust me. Just, just coffee dates. Meet her up, coffee date. You know, no, nobody, nobody ever got too excited off of off of caffeine. But you know, coffee dates, get to know her. You know, have that be the first meeting. And you know, unfortunately, you have to be safe. You gotta protect yourself at all times. And you know, like I said, there are evil people in this world. I'm not condoning any bad behavior, so don't come after me, right? But uh, the topic, and I think this is an interesting topic to to talk about. So let's talk about it in the comments. If you if you like what I do, hit.
hit the like button for your boy. Subscribe if you like it. Uh, turn on that notification so whenever I upload, you know, you'll be the first one to, to get, get, get it. All right, guys, see you guys on the next one. Peace.